Hello, Internet. It is I, True Mega Maniac. Um, so, as previously, I just animated things and made memes. So, today I have an interesting dilemma. That I think some of you might be interested in. You have software, say, video game, like Warcraft 3. And you want to put it on a PC. Now, that's all well and good, but there's a little bit of a... problem. That I'm sure a lot of us can relate to. This is a disc. And you might have noticed that this doesn't have an optical drive. So where do we put it? Can't put it there. Does it go here? Nope. Yeah, that's not happening. Alright, so, before I destroy the disc by moving across solid surfaces, I came up with a solution previously uh, when I installed some software using the disc that involved that involved using two things. Laptop. Now you can use any old crap top for this. You don't need an Asus ROG for this. Um, an Ethernet cable. And a switch slash router slash hub I guess you could use, but who the hell uses hubs? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. So, our goal is to get this onto that. Now, you might be thinking, why do you do that? That's not an optical drive. That's a laptop. And yes, you're right. This is a laptop. But, the laptop does in fact have, you guessed it, an optical drive. So we can use this to go from this Over that, to that, and then finally there. Now you might be thinking, why not just download it off of the internet? Well, I don't feel like it. No, seriously, I just don't want to. Even though I have the speed for it and the bandwidth cap, I'm wanting to show people how to do this because... The thing about this is, is that some people might not have super great internet or really good download speeds and, or perhaps they have a terrible bandwidth cap or whatever. And all they want to do is just install their old software and hell, maybe the software isn't even downloadable anymore. So that's what I'm trying to do, is instruct people how to get software off of a disk using a laptop, be it a new or an old one, so long as it has a compatible optical drive and an Ethernet uh, I don't want you doing things Steam right now. So let's go ahead and, oh, there it is. So let's go ahead and go through with the process of getting this to install on the other machine because we don't want it installing it here. I mean as much as I'd love to take Warcraft 3 with me it's not exactly the best game to take with you. And, and, and there it is. There's Warcraft 3 ready to install. 
So let's go ahead and go to properties. You're next going to want to go to sharing. And you're going to go to advanced sharing. And I've already shared this, but let's just go ahead and go through it as if we were setting it up for the first time. So you're going to want to go to advanced sharing. You're going to want to share this folder. And you can have it be whatever the hell you want. Disk. Disk. Drive. And you can type whatever here there all right this is now being shared as that uh, under the name disk drive my optical drive is now shared what does this mean well it means I can put this down go on to my other computer go to File Explorer, go to this PC. Actually, no, it's Network. <gasps> and you see some other devices, but what's this? That's a message. You have to turn on Network Discovery and File Sharing, so be wary of that. So, what you're going to have now is you're going to have the computer open as a sh network share. And it's sharing the disk drive as it spins down for a second there. And you can go into there and be like, ooh, install. Yeah, I want to install the software. And you're going to hear that pick up. And you're going to start installing software using a laptop as an optical drive. Yeah! Install Warcraft 3. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah. Legals. Legalese. Alright. Please enter the owner of the game and the CD key. I'll go ahead and do that. A few moments later. Oh. So I typed in my product key. And I'm going to install this on a regular hard drive. You could install it wherever you like. You could make a new folder. I, I, I said you could make a new folder. Yes, okay, that's fine. And okay. And now it's actually going to start installing. Like it was running on a drive on that computer. Except it's running off of a drive on this computer. And you can do this with any computer with an optical drive and a operating system that was made in the past two decades. I think anything Windows 95 and later can network share. So you could even do this on an Ubuntu distribution just fine. So that's cool. That's real cool that you can do this because how many of us have, I don't know, genuine junky laptops lying around like this hunk of beast right here? Like, you could use this. You could use an old... Oh. You could use an old Dell Latitude. Or hell, you could go even older to an XP or a machine. Or hell, a Windows 98 computer. And you can still do this. You can get your old games and install them on your computer with modern um, compromises, I guess we could call the lack of an optical drive and be perfectly fine just by using an old crap topper a really expensive optical drive in other words an rog 960m 
Yeah, yeah. That's about all this thing is good for is an optical drive. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to install one of the rest of Warcraft 3 and probably play it. Probably also going to have to edit this too, because there's a lot of stupid crap I said that I probably should omit. Anyway, have a good journey. I build my love like a castle in the sun. No one comes down. It comes tumbling to the ground when she speaks. It's a dangerous fantasy, sets me free Where I wanna be